Looking for some STEM project inspiration? Well, check out these 14 creative makey makey ideas that you can use in your school. What's more is that each idea comes with a step by step guide that you can find on Instructables. Easy, coming your way in just a moment. Hello world, Surfing Scratcher here, teacher, surfer, programmer, and on this channel, I make how-to coding videos for curious learners and educators. If you're digging this content, then be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop for more. All right, this is part two in our Makey Makey Ambassador video series. If you're looking for the first part, I'll link to it at the end of the video after you've checked out all these ones. Now remember, if you want any more detail on the content that you come across in this video, check out the show notes down below in the description. That's where I'll link to all the instructable guides of the content creators, as well as the Makey Makey blog. And that's where you can find all the social media handles of all the content creators. All right, let's do this. First up, we're up to Leesburg in the United States, and that's where we'll find Julie. Her project brings a typical wallpaper map to life using a five to six makey makeys. I love the links to geography and how this project thinks big. It's a research project that lends itself well to a whole class collaborative project. And I can see how the crew have been problem solving on the way to their finished product. From the States, we head over to Scotland in the United Kingdom, and that's where we'll find Fraser. Fraser's got a binary dance map, which teaches binary numbers through an interactive scratch game. I love the interactive twister style with students using each foot and hand to press down on the tiles to make a binary number. Such a cool way to show the switches turning on and off. I also love how Fraser's used a grounding strap here to connect the students to the Makey Makey. We'll stick in the UK and head over to Colchester in England and that's where we'll find Fraser with a Z. Fraser's got an interactive musical sculpture that uses wind chimes to compose a soundscape. Brought me a lot of joy watching Fraser's demo video when I saw people interacting with his sculpture dawn with smirks and looks of curiosity and wonder. Incredible creativity and I look forward to tracking more of Fraser's work. We'll stick in Europe and head not too far to Palermo in Italy. That's where we'll find Massimiliano. The professor is bringing Makey Makey to Italy and has interpreted the piano app on the Makey Makey website. You can easily forget your starting point when viewing some of these projects, just wondering where to begin. The piano is a great up and runner to get familiar with the tech and be buzzed by its offerings. We head back to the States now into Nashville, Tennessee, and that's where we'll find Mike. Mike's project for us is a self-portrait sound collage. The collage is a favorite at school, and this is a neat way to express yourself through art that also uses some sound to capture the essence of you. Mike also has a pretty interesting sound instrument that you should check out on his Instructables page. Let's make a quick trip back to the United Kingdom to Leeds, and that's where we'll find Matthew. Matthew's got a sliding scale that uses cardboard and the makey makey. This is one of those ideas that can be modified and adapted to suit many purposes. I can see this slider being used as a controller for projects in any learning area. One such example could be to rock and roll a character pose when designing frame by frame animations, but there's so many more. Check out Matthew's channel in the top corner right now. From Leeds, we'll head back over to the States to Houston, Texas, and that's where we'll find Bradley. Bradley's got an all about me interactive paper craft project. I love that it's adaptable for a number of purposes. For example, research projects, game controls, and even data collection as Bradley puts it on his instructable. The use of a file folder removes one layer of finesse and allows us to focus on the content and the circuitry. Hopping back to Europe now, and that's where we'll find Veronica in Madrid, Spain. She's saving the planet with her students, recycling with scratch and the makey makey. Veronica has matched up real world objects and paired them with feedback on the screen to show which bin they could enter. I can imagine this being taken even further with actual bins and asking students to question if they place their item in the most suitable bin. Just awesome. A couple of countries away, we have Matilde in Modena, Italy. Her project's all about a makey makey money box. Not only have they crafted a really cool panda, I love how they've actually got a plan here in the instructional too. I love how this project promotes the idea of giving for a cause. Matilde has provided feedback to the do-gooders by recording a class message and some animation on the screen to signal the donation. I just love the donation slash voting type solutions. It's back to North America now, to Lakeside, Canada, and that's where we'll find Barb. We're sticking with the money theme, counting change with the makey makey. Projects that involve a little elementary math excite me. This solution overlaps concrete materials and symbolic representation of numbers with their operations. You can go one step further by programming the operations in Scratch. A super project to link numbers to their real world representations. We're jumping back to the States now to Fredericksburg and that's where we'll find Nathan. Nathan's project brings books to life with a talking bookshelf. 
What a way to spark interest in books. I can see this is a great way for students to capture and share their own reviews as well. It's also a neat solution to engage those a little more resistant to reading or even those who are just learning the language that they are studying. So cool. We're off to another burg in the States. This one's Harrisburg, and that's where we'll find Robert. Robert's got a little bit more of an advanced project for us, and it's a sweet floor table drum pad. Students can get creative by creating their own tracks by sampled music. Robert also included some keyboard remapping and uses multiple makey makeys on the way to his homage to the MK3. Loving those tunes and the thoroughness in his guide. We're heading back to Europe into Spain, Tarragona, and that's where we'll find Elena. This theme project mixes genius sound, the makey makey, and a book. It's super open-ended, but in a supported way. Reading material to spark the minds of the students, the space to work towards something that is of interest to them, and the skills to execute through the Makey Makey. It's a real sequence and demonstration of collaborative learning based on Google. Lastly, we're gonna head somewhere a little closer to home. That's the Hastings in New Zealand, where we'll find Tony. Tony's project is based on the question, can you create an interactive alphabet that will help younger students learn the names and the sounds of letters? When I reopen Tony's Instructable, I smile, as we don't often see projects for younger years. I love how Tony has her students thinking about her end users, so it gets her students thinking bigger than them, which is huge for younger learners. I could even see this being extended into phonemes. So cool. I found all these awesome ideas on the Makey Makey blog post for the 2020 Ambassadors. Be sure to check out the link where you can grab all the social media handles for all the ambassadors, including this one here for Nadia from Iraq. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. And a big shout out to Google Earth's website Website, which took care of all these awesome location animations. There's a link for that below in the description. It's time for a scratchy question. Now my mind is buzzing with all the ideas that I saw in this video and I want to know which one sparked you? Drop your answer in the comment section down below. Thanks for checking out these creative makey makey ideas. If you're feeling inspired then hit that like button and if you love my content then consider joining the Surfing Scratcher mailing list. Link below in the description. Part one should be up on your screen right now, as well as a few makey makey project ideas from yours truly. But until then, I'm off to go find a wave. I'll catch you in the next one.